simple repair update. I did a video of this not too long ago. Well, it was, I would like to say halfway intact, but it's not really. Uh, I've got all of the broken pieces uh, out of the window that need to come out. Now, I, I don't have the glass to match this, so I'm actually going to copper foil these and stick them back in. So these two are intact, those two are intact, and these will be in pieces. Um, one of the things I needed to point out is that I'm not a big fan of cutting the pieces up, cutting the glass up into little pieces and getting it out and then cleaning out the hole in large part because in cases like this and let's get a little bit closer and do a close-up on part of it is that my philosophy at least for me is that I want to be able to match the workmanship of the original artesian you know I could cut the glass up in little pieces and get it out right and then clean out the hole and slide a piece of paper up underneath and trace on the inside of the hole and that works you know that can work if the workmanship is fairly decent okay but this thing and let's do a little close up here so maybe you can see these big honking gaps here you know whoever had made this had a very hard time and yes there's a big honking gap here that was full of solder this was full of solder this was full of solder so especially in a case like this the pieces that I put back in need to be exactly the same shape or as close to the same shape of the glass that I pulled out otherwise the repair actually looks better you know well not so much better but it throws the whole balance off you know you don't want it to look like it's been repaired is the idea my philosophy of doing a repair even though uh, the workmanship on this particular window is somewhat uh, you could almost say substandard you know or a beginner or you know somebody was having a very hard he might have been self-taught uh, let's assume it's a he could have been a she you know we don't know uh, when these things come in I don't get full resumes I don't have you know where it came from who made it what when it was made yada 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 so you know, there's a lot of glass that I have to replace and that's fine but it needs to be pretty close to the same shape of the glass that I take out you know and of course you know, some of you might be saying, well, that's China-made. Well, uh, no, actually, this looks like it was made in the United States. They actually used zinc around the outside, uh, and the zinc wasn't patinaed totally black uh, like the rest of this is. So it's my contention that, you know, this was somebody made it. This might have been someone's first foray into mass production because the client said he, has, he had two of them. And... Uh, yeah, so he wants it to kind of somewhat match. So, you know, I just wanted to give you an idea of that, that for my philosophy of doing repairs, and, you know, something else, I sweated all of these out, which means that I heated up the copper foil. And in my case, I, you know, you can use a strip from an aluminum can to get in between the, the, uh, uh, the two pieces of copper foil if the gap is big enough. But for myself, I prefer paper because I can hold it in one hand and not have to use a pair of pliers to hold the strip of aluminum which conducts heat because when you're doing that it gets very very hot very very hot and you know it's awkward enough uh, trying to sweat these pieces out but you can see that I got the pieces out without having to disassemble a whole thing and I know there's some of the uh, responses I see on these threads is seems like some of you folks have to take it apart uh, and put it back together itis you know, like taking this thing apart and putting it back together is not going to make it, you know, look any better, be any better, be any easier. And it would take a hell of a lot more time to do all that, clean off the glass, copper foil, let's put the whole thing back together. It's a repair. It's not the Mona Lisa. You know, it's not a historical uh, uh, restoration. You know, so you look at the original craftsmanship and that's what, that's what I have to deal with. You know, I want to make it look like it was still kind of handmade and the craftsmanship isn't all that hot like here we'll go over here and look at this okay come over here and look at this there's another close-up for you adjust the camera back it off just a little bit okay you see these big honking thick lines here and how things don't match up or line up you know even even down here <clears throat> okay big giant honking 
wide lines. So somebody had a very hard time cutting this and had a very hard time putting it together. They got it to fit, but the fit isn't all that hot. So, you know, I cut just a couple of things I wanted to touch on. So, see, this is this one's already shattered. But uh, the majority of these, you know, I sweated out, got them all apart, you know, got them off, back this off. Yep, got them all apart. And uh, now it's going to be glass cutting and glass replacement. You know, there are a few pieces in here that I had to take out to get to other things. You know, especially up here on the edge. And they're not broken, so they do get cleaned off. They do get run through the grinder real quick. You know, that helps clean them off also. Get copper foil and stuck back in there. So, thank you. God bless and have a good evening. Bye-bye.